What's up YouTube? It's your girl Lim Ma and today I'm going to go to a cafe because it is the first day in about a month I would say that Korea is no longer at the restriction level 2.5. So Korea has their coronavirus restrictions set up in stages. So level one is like the most relaxed state and level three would be like the highest restrictive state. And at 2.5, there were many extra restrictions such as cafes not being open for dining in, just takeout was allowed. So now that they are open for business to sit in there, I'm gonna see what it's like there, see if people are in there at all. So let's go check it out. This is Alchemia. Alchemia is an ice cream shop slash cafe in my neighborhood. It is an awesome place that makes really, really fresh and amazing ice cream. The ice cream uses only honey, not sugar, to make. So it's a little bit healthier and they use all fresh ingredients rather than any artificial flavoring. So it's also extra yummy. So it's a highly recommended spot for me. They have cool flavors like basil, uh, black rice, as well as rice wine. But another thing I love about this place is the decoration inside, the vintage furniture, the artwork on the walls. It really has a nice vibe to it. I decided to order a mulled wine. That's really a big fat in Korea right now, the mold wine. You can find it basically at any cafe. And this one here is especially delicious. I think they use really good wine and really nice spices for it because every time I get it, it's just awesome. They also have homemade caramels here, which my mom and I are obsessed with. We can eat like five at a time. They gave us some to sample, and they're so, so good. I noticed that there were people sitting inside. So as you can see, there's a couple there and another couple of people there. I went to another cafe called 118 Coffee. This is also in my neighborhood. They roast their own beans, so I like to buy their beans sometimes to make coffee at home. I wanted to check out if people were in here as well. And as you can see, there's a decent amount of people, pretty spaced out. Uh, but you'll see later that more people come in and it gets more crowded. The vibe of this place is really different from the ice cream shop. It's much more modern and clean white feel to it. They even have this cold brew vending machine that's really cool. I decided to order a crowful, which is a cross between croissant and waffle. So they put the croissant dough into the waffle maker and then cook it in there. Um, this is another huge fad in Korea, other than mold wine. You can find crowfuls at very, very many cafes. Um, so this was my first time trying it, and I have to say, it lives up to the hype. It's got the flaky layers of croissants, but it has this very moist and chewy interior. I also got an ice flat white to go with it really enjoyed it and they give it to you with a big scoop of ice cream so that makes it all the more better 
My mom was even surprised to see how good the crowful tasted. So now it's me filming, well, my mom filming me to show how many people are in the cafe. And as I left, I tried to sneak one more shot of everyone there. So it seems like everyone's getting pretty comfortable again sitting inside in cafes with other people around. Okay, so today I think I'm gonna go get a haircut because this is too long for me right now. So let's go do that. So I arrived at the salon. It was pretty full in there. There were people waiting, people in the salon chairs. I got sat because I had a reservation. I wanted just a slightly shorter cut because I have so much hair. Oh, there goes my mask. And then he suggested I just remove it for a little bit because it's getting in the way of cutting. So I actually took it off for the haircut, which he said was allowed because his mask was kept on. So that was really interesting, but it did make the haircut a lot smoother. There goes my sideburns. Got a little rinse before the rest of the cut. Whatever shampoo they use, it, it smells nice. All right, so after drying it off, we did more of a cut on the bangs and on top, but nothing too crazy. I basically started getting like a bowl cut, which I thought was a little odd, but I still thought it was kind of cool. It's so weird that I like it, if that makes any sense. There you have it. I am back from my haircut and it is a very subtle difference. It's not that big of a difference from what it was before. I wanted a shorter cut, but he didn't suggest it, the hairdresser, because my hair, it stands like this rather than like this. So he thought it would just be me looking like a porcupine, which is true. So I went with his advice. I think overall, I like this kind of military look I have going on. It's a little funky, but I like that it's weird. It was interesting to have my mask off during the haircut. He said that it was all right because he had his mask on and because it would get in the way, it's like near here, uh, he needed me to take it off for a little bit. All in all, uh, everyone there did have masks on. It was kind of a full house. There were quite a few people there. There are three chairs in the salon and all of them were full. Everything is in action as you can see in Korea. So the cafes, were full. The restaurants are still going as my Kamjatang video showed. You can check that out. And yeah, hair salons are going. Almost everything's going. I still don't know. I think now gyms and all that are opening back up this week, but with restrictions. But they are available to the public, I believe. But all in all, I think Korea is functioning way better than most other countries. There is no you know, big lockdown. People are able to do most of the activities that they would do in regular life with just a few restrictions, such as going to the movies. You can go to the movies, but there will be a lot of empty seats to leave space for social distancing. Yeah, I wanted to show a little bit of how Korea is right now uh, compared to the rest of the world. When I was in LA in America, it was really dead. Everything was really dead. So it's been interesting to be here and just see everyone still, you know, going at it during rush hour, out on the weekends, exploring neighborhoods, going to restaurants daily. That kind of normalcy is something that I'm really enjoying in Korea. I will report with more of how Korea is in this pandemic soon, but request anything you want to see, what types of things in Korea you might want to see. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked any of that, please like and subscribe. See you next time.